cooking on one of my favorite grills tonight. This is UK grill. It's a lot of fun to cook on this thing. Uh, I've been using it a lot, a lot more than you've seen me use it on video. But I'm just getting, you know, used to it and whatever. I've had it since about last June. And I'm really getting kind of good with it, if I must brag. But I don't want to brag too much, all right? Anyway, I'm going to cook some Piri Piri chicken. Now, this grill was given to me by the Benevolent Subscriber, and he also sent me some Piri Piri sauce a few months ago. Four bottles of this stuff. This comes from a uh, restaurant called Noni's, some kind of international restaurant. It's in Europe and places, out of Portugal, but it's in England. I think they only got two in the United States, one in uh, Washington, D.C., and one in Chicago. I've never been to Chicago before, and I hadn't been to Washington, D.C. since uh, Reagan was president. And uh, I don't guess I'm going back anytime soon. So if I'm going to have Piri Piri chicken with the sauce, I need to make it myself. Now, I've been through two bottles of this stuff. This is the hot. They've got um, a lot of different flavors, all right? But this is the hot right here. And uh, they've got an extra hot too. And my wife thinks it's a little bit too much. But I've been using it like I would a finishing sauce on pork chops, like I would the high 57 or something. I've even mixed it. I had some mild salsa that just wasn't kind of boring. I mixed this into the salsa. Just ate tortilla chips with it, like nachos, all right? I have used this um, on chicken. I'll look for Piri Piri recipes. Some of them said just use salt and pepper on the chicken and then put this on there. That was good, but I thought it could be better. I really didn't know. And then I did a barbecue rub with it. Haven't made a video with it yet. But then the Benevolent Subscriber last week sent me some Piri Piri Rub. All right, look at that. Piri Piri Rub. Now that's uh, Nomo, N-O-M, or Nomu, N-O-M-U. All right, Piri Piri Rub. It's not by the same people that make this Piri Piri Sauce. But I've got the chicken. I've got some chicken legs. Been marinating. The only marinade you'll ever need by Stephen Reichlin. I'll leave the link down below. That's usually lemon juice and olive oil based. Except this time I use lime juice. And the fresh herbs I use with some rosemary and cilantro, and then I use some dried herbs in it too, which um, some basil, some dill, stuff like that. Anyway, the chicken's been marinating maybe six to eight hours, and uh, we're gonna put this rub on there and this. Now, I don't know what this rub looks like in a can, but um, I got a feeling I might have to put it into a little shaker. So if I do, that's how you'll see the rub when it goes on the chicken in just a little bit. And I'm under my patio and the lighting has been provided by this 1967 Coleman 220. I got 15 pieces of chicken here. I separated uh, seven and eight. I took the eight largest ones. That's what I'm gonna make the Piri Piri with. These are just gonna be a regular barbecue chicken. I'm actually gonna use uh, some sweet and smoky rub. This is Southern Living's recipe. I make this up and I need to use this up. I made it up a little while back. It's probably my go-to favorite barbecue rub for most things. And it's easy to make too. Anyway, um, my wife's a little worried about using Piri Piri rub and the Piri Piri sauce. She said the Piri Piri chicken and she's tolerated it, but she said it's just at the max of her spice level. She's a little worried about this Piri Piri rub. So let's try it. I already unscrewed the lid. And as you can see, it's a lot coarser than what I thought. So it's not gonna go into a shaker like I wanted. I was gonna put it in a little salt shaker. What I wanna do is take a pinch here. I'm just gonna throw this back on my tongue. Oh, that's really good. And it's not real spicy. Just a hint of spice, some sweetness there. Lots of herbs. Very, very savory. Okay, the spice is hitting me now, but it's not overpowering. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle this on the chicken like that. And we'll get it on the grill. So you see how it's going. I'm just, I'm going to turn the chicken over and sprinkle it on there again. All right. Okay, I've got a nice bed of coals here to start grilling this chicken on. Uh, I've got some, um, you can't see it just off camera over here in the brasero. I got some more coals heating up for when I need it. And I've got this area right here that's a safe zone in case I need to move the chicken. Now I'll let my wife try that Piri Piri rub and she said that is not spicy at all. She thinks she'll like it. If I'd known that, I would have uh, put it on all the chicken pieces instead of just the, uh, and not done any barbecue at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these chicken pieces on here. This isn't really a, um, video about the technique on how to grill chicken. You can grill it on whatever kind of grill you want. This is just the grill I'm using. And uh, so I'm probably gonna take you back when it's time to sauce them. I'll be, you know, flipping and turning these and raising and lowering this grate or whatever I've got to do to uh, keep these chicken cooking even. But once they get to an internal of about 175, that's when I'm gonna want to uh, start saucing them up. They're chicken legs and I want them to be at about 180. 
So uh, leave that sauce on for another five or 10 minutes and they'll be at about 180 when they come off of here. So I got the barbecue chicken over here. These are smaller pieces and the uh, Piri Piri is a little larger and it's all right here. Get, get away from my Piri Piri chicken. You sit right there. All right, we set the lid down. Let the grill do its thing. Okay, so let me show you what's happening now. These smaller pieces of the barbecue chicken, there's still two pieces of barbecue chicken right there. And the smaller pieces of the Piri Piri chicken were at 180 or reaching 180. So several minutes ago, I moved them off the fire. I told you I had that safe zone. These are all almost 180. They're around 177, 175, I think is the smallest one. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm setting these two uh, little dishes down and I'm going to put barbecue sauce in this one. And this is for the barbecue chicken, just like that. Cause I don't want to put cold sauce on these chicken. So I want to heat the sauce up. All right. And now the Nando's, I called it Nanny's earlier, but I wasn't read this Nando's Piri Piri sauce. Okay. And I'm gonna put that right here. Boy, I tell you what, I have loved this stuff. I've used it for just about everything I would have used Sriracha for. Not what I would use a Louisiana hot sauce like Tabasco or Crystal for, um, like on Jambalaya or something, but just about anything I'd use Sriracha for, I've used uh, this. Um, I'll tell you what, I really have been enjoying it. And it's been a good side for uh, pork chops and stuff like that, as well as chicken. All right, well, the sauces have heated up and I went ahead and uh, put the barbecue sauce on the grilled chicken. I've been calling it barbecue chicken, but I'm from the South, so I know it's really not barbecue chicken. It's grilled chicken with barbecue sauce on it. But anyway, the barbecue sauce is done. It's time to get this Piri Piri sauce on these Piri Piri chicken pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back over here now. And uh, I'm just gonna finish them all off right here. And this is how we're gonna get the sauce on there. Got this mop. I'm just gonna start mopping it on there like that. Flip it over, do the other side. Do this one the same way. Get it mopped like that. Flip it over and put it on the other side. All right. All right, let's let it set. All right, let's have a look, see. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's time to pull this chicken off of here. Look at that. Now you might say, Big Lou, that Cajun pit stick uh, flipper you use, you put the raw chicken on and then you're gonna pull a um, cooked chicken off with it. Look, after I turn it, after I use it, I keep a paper towel um, wrapped, it's soaked in vinegar. And I wipe it out with vinegar each time before I uh, use it again. It's real easy. I hardly ever use tongs anymore, except for a few things like sausages that can't be poked. Um, but I use this for just about everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it to pull the uh, chicken off of here and uh, meet you inside, we'll do a taste test. Well, there's my chicken, that's that barbecue chicken. I call it barbecue, but it's really grilled chicken with barbecue sauce on it. Uh, and in the South, there's a different term between grilled and barbecued, you know? Anyway, uh, and uh, that's the Piri Piri chicken. That sauce, you can't really see the color of it once it's grilled in there. My son took a little nibble. He said it was really good. Stay tuned, we'll have a taste test for it in just a moment. Got some toast. My wife's got some stuff sizzling on the so stove and um, got some potatoes to serve with it. All right, taste test on this uh, Piri Piri chicken. All right. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. At first I hit that Piri Piri sauce and the Piri Piri rub, which isn't too spicy. Then I hit that lime marinade. I'm used to that marinade with lemon juice, but using lime juice, I can really tell the difference. My son nibbled at it. He said, it tastes lemony. I said, it ought to taste lime. All right, now a little bit of that spice from that sauce is getting to me. Not much from the rub, because that sauce is somewhat spicy. But this is a really good chicken. New family favorite. 
Hey, Gregor, thanks for sending me all this stuff. I got to tell you. Mmm. 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 I y'all can't stop. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Piri Piri, new favorite of mine. Thanks for watching.